everyone, this is Eric Sloof over at NTPro.nl and in this video I will show you how you can use free Realize Operations Manager to do capacity planning. First I'm logging on to the completely refreshed new interface and if you want to do capacity planning you can select an object in the environment. So first we jump to environment and I want to check out my production cluster. So I'm selecting vSphere hosts and clusters and then I'm opening the vSphere world and my vCenter server and my data center and then I'm selecting the production cluster and uh, in this cluster I'm hosting a few ESXi hosts uh, but uh, I had some complaints about uh, the performance so let's have a quick check and let's jump to projects. What you can see in projects is very interesting because uh, yeah, today I have a bit of shortfall but it also uh, will show you a forecast. So what we see here at the end of January I will my shortfall will grow and grow based on the resources I'm using in this cluster. So if I add a new host, will it help? Well, let's take a look. We can create different scenarios. And if I click the plus icon here, I can say new host. I have to put in a new uh, a description. Uh, um, production is demanding, blah, 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 new host. Okay, and then you can choose between planned or committed. If you are doing a planned uh, scenario and uh, then uh, you're not promising that the host will be added to the cluster so the batches the batch scores are not uh, calculated based on the resources that you are planning to add if you do commit it then batch scores uh, like capacity remaining will be affected by your scenario then I have to create a scenario and in this case we can choose between adding, changing or removing capacity, but also adding, changing and removing demand. But we are going to add capacity. I'm going to add a host to my cluster. So I'm dragging and dropping the host add uh, option into my window right here. And then I have to say at which date are you going to add those hosts to the cluster? Well, I'm doing it on December 5th, okay? And I'm going to add two hosts, and then you can put in the metrics for those hosts, memory, CPU, and I'm populating the metrics from an existing host system that is already part of the cluster, which is ESX7, for instance. So after selecting this host and confirming it with OK, I can save this scenario, and then it will show up here at the bottom. And by dragging and dropping this scenario into the product view, I can see what happens when I'm going to add the two hosts at the 5th of December. So it will take a while before I run out of capacity, at least till the end of January. Okay, but I also want to add new virtual machines to my cluster. So let's create another scenario. It's a planned scenario and I'm calling this new VMs. Uh, because I want to do some beta tests uh, of certain products. Um, I'm going to add demand and I'm adding new virtual machines. So let's use this scenario and then let's say that I want to add those machines at the 13th of December on my birthday. And I'm going to add six virtual machines and I'm populating the metrics from an existing VM but you can also use a profile. Profiles can be uh, custom created but you can also use the average profile which is the average load of all your VMs in that particular cluster. I'm using for average and uh, I'm clicking on uh, save. Let's see what happens. So new VM, I'm dragging and dropping this into the scenario and I can see that if I deploy new virtual machines, uh, I'm safe till mid-January. Okay, so maybe I need to add an additional host to the cluster. But this is real great for capacity planning. You can do this uh, uh, on clusters, on individual hosts, and uh, it's a great tool in V-Realize operations. Well, that concludes this video. Uh,
Eric Sloof is signing off. Bye-bye.